On September 1st, MSU Texas will officially be one of five institutions in the Texas Tech University system. And PJ Green spoke with MSU's president, Dr. Suzanne Shipley, today, who is very excited for this, right, PJ? She sure is, Lauren. And as this 15 month process reaches its end, Shipley says she is glad to get it done, especially when there will be essentially no change to the university overall. All of the students, staff, faculty, and alumni, welcome to the Texas Tech University system. Currently in the Texas Tech University system, the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Centers, Texas Tech University, Angelo State, and joining them on September 1st, Midwestern State University. We'll be working very closely with folks at MSU Texas to formalize this partnership and make it a reality. We're all looking forward to the days in front of us. It's just right for us because it infuses strength without uh, at all diluting our identity. As the official day approaches, MSU's transition team will be getting the university ready to be a part of the system. It means things like budget transfer, getting our policies in place because the system runs things a little differently than we do, and so there are just a lot of single decision making things that have to occur. While this may seem like a big change, Shipley says the system lets the presidents of the institutions remain in control. The biggest changes will be tech's expertise helping MSU administration and tech's influence in bonds and legislation. I don't think the campus or the students are, is going to see much of a change. They'll just see an enthusiasm about something new and the overlay of Texas Tech, their reputation, their support for us. Once the merger becomes official, MSU will have a new leader with Shipley retiring the day before. Although MSU staying an independent university was a goal when she took over in 2015, she says it's a testament to the Board of Regents that this decision was made. We didn't dream it, but it just shows you that times change rapidly, and you, if you're going to be a strong institution, you need to be flexible and change with the times. And for that, I thank our board. Our board took the courageous step of saying, we're going to make a major change because it's the right time, and I really applaud them. Change is inevitable, and MSU and Texas Tech officials say this change will be great for everyone involved. Now, Shipley says after September, MSU could invite all alumni from around the Texas Tech system on campus for homecoming, but that is still in the works. All right, PJ, I know a lot of people are very excited and looking forward to what this brings. Thanks so much for that story.